Trafigura says that one of his oil tankers was struck by a missile in the Red Sea. We want to get more on this with our Bloomberg uh, Balance of Power co-host Kaylee Lyons for more. Kaylee, do we know if this is an accident? Do we know if this is an escalation? What are you hearing? No, we don't know necessarily what exactly happened here, Alex, other than that the ship is struck. It is actually now on fire and that this is the most significant attack against an oil energy carrying vessel we have seen so far just with this conflict in the Red Sea. The Houthis have uh, claimed responsibility for attacking this vessel. And of course, this is just one of many attacks we have seen really since November when uh, they began these attacks on commercial vessels. Again, though, really the first time we have seen a significant impact on one that carries oil. Of course, we heard from the chief of the Houthis yesterday in a television address pointing out that they have carried out attacks with more than 200 drones and 50 missiles so far going on to say the U.S. is unable to stop Houthi operations in the Red Sea because of course Alex this comes despite the fact that we have seen at least eight strikes from the U.S. and the U.K. militaries against the Houthis and their capabilities in Yemen going after their infrastructure trying to degrade their capacity to carry out these attacks and yet these attacks are continuing so we'll see if we hear from the Biden administration on this on potentially how they could ramp up going after the Houthis but we do know that Saudi Arabia for example for years tried to stop the Houthis ability to conduct these kind of operations and failed to do so so this just really speaks to the challenges they are saying the Houthis now that they are in direct contact conflict with the US and UK in addition to any vessels uh, bound for Israel. And to this point, we haven't seen much of it showing up in the energy market in particular because the flow of crude has been able to continue. If there is real question called into uh, that, though, that is when we start to get perhaps concerns about the actual energy prices in addition to freight rates, which, of course, already have gone significantly higher as a result of vessels not being able to operate properly through this waterway.